Hey guys, so let's see if we can get through this video without my kids interrupting me right now. So, update, I'm nine days post-op, so one week and two days. So this is my one week update, basically. Um, let me just tell you guys that the first week is really, really hard. <laughs> um, I... For me, the first five days were like rough. Um, day five um, was probably the hardest. And I really questioned myself at that point, you know, should I have had this surgery? Like, why did I do this to myself? Is this really gonna be worth it? And then luckily when I woke up the next day, I was like 50% more myself and starting to feel better. Thank God, it's like exactly what I needed. So. I just don't remember seeing on a lot of these um, post-op updates, people stressing, you know, how hard it actually is. Um, it is really a major surgery. I mean, I know it's plastic surgery and I think, you know, people kind of take that lightheartedly, but I mean, it's like a legitimate surgery. So um, just be prepared, you know, um, it, it's not just taxing physically, but it is taxing mentally very, very, very much. So just remember that going into it. Um, don't mind the hot mess here. I did shower today, but my hair, I didn't wash it. It's kind of greasy. Um, so my appointment was Monday, exactly one week after surgery. Um, they had had stitches in all my incisions, external sutures and stereo strips over everything. So they took all that off. They took all the stitches out and basically told me to start applying, let me show you, um, this silicone, 100% silicone cream or gel on all my scars starting the following day, basically. Um, and obviously if I have any issues, concerns, problems to, you know, let her know. And then I will be seeing her basically, um, around three weeks post-op to follow up from there. Um, she did let me know that my um, belly button was a little difficult for her just because I'm thin. She is used to larger patients in general. She thought she wasn't going to be able to do a very good job on my belly button, but she's like, I just had to add like an extra stitch or two and it turned out okay. It is on the smaller side. Um, a lot of people are critical of belly buttons with tummy tucks and I'm probably going to be one of these people where you, it's like a dead giveaway, um, that I, that I had one just because it's gonna be on the smaller side. Um, so for the meantime, I'm still kind of packing it with gauze to just try to keep it a little more open um, to keep it from really shrinking too much. But at the end of the day, you know, a small belly button is nothing compared to, you know, having a herniated belly button that I've had the last five years. So um, it's fine. Um, she did a pretty good job on my incision. like. Um, you know, I've, I've seen all sorts of kinds. Some are, you know, just really, I don't want to say sloppy, but like messy looking. Um, I feel like mine's, um, pretty like even one side is a little higher up than the other side, but oh well, my scars tend to heal pretty well. So I'm not really worried about that. Um, I am bruising terribly. Um, that's not a surprise when I had my breasts done 10 years ago. The physician I went to then had me starting like homeopathic, like bromelain arnica a few weeks prior to the surgery to help with bruising and I still bruised pretty bad. So this doctor doesn't have you do any homeopathic. As a matter of fact, she doesn't want you to take anything homeopathic, anything that can thin your blood. Um, she doesn't want you taking um, two weeks before surgery and two weeks following surgery. So I am bruising and as of today, um, the bruising is actually getting darker. It was all yellow. Um, I have it underneath my breasts and I have it more so on the right side of my abdomen. Um, and it's starting to darken on, on my abdomen. Um, the swelling like, um, post-surgery was so bad initially, like the next day it traveled down into TMI guys. The lady bits were like swollen. And you know what? The, it was black, black the first 24 hours scary. So I was definitely checking that area, making sure that it was, you know, getting better, which every day it, it gradually got better. Things look much more normal now. 
but that fluid pushed into even into my thighs, like into my inner thighs. So I have bruising in my inner thighs right now due to all that fluid buildup. Um, I had measured my waist a few days after surgery. So with my um, muscle separation and the bulge, I was measuring a 33 inch waist at the belly button, which is large. Um, I'm, you know, normally I'd be in the 20s uh, for my size and um, it was still 33 after surgery, so I'm like, wow, I do have a lot of swelling going on. And I finally measured today, and I'm down to 30 and a half. So it's getting better, and the swelling is going down. I feel like more of the swelling is, like, right underneath my belly button. Um, so, yeah, they took the drain out. Um, I, I had enough, um, not too much drainage, basically. Like, you, you know, you, you're measuring your drainage output every day. And, um, Mom? hold on, sorry about that. My son needed me. So the drainage, so it got to the point, I think for her, her guidelines are less two days consecutive, less than 30 cc's, which I was at. So they were able to take it out. Um, I did notice the days I was more active, which were the last couple of days before that appointment, I would obviously put out more drainage, um, but I was still good. So that came out. So. I have a hole there um, where the drain was. It's It already has started to close some, but it's still putting out fluid. So I have to keep a, a gauze pad there. Um, what else can I tell you guys? I'm stuck wearing this medical binder, which it's just the hospital binder, abdominal binder that any abdominal surgery gets. Essentially, I had it every time with all my C-sections. Um, I have to wear it for four weeks and then I don't think she's going to recommend that I need to wear compression at that point, but I actually just ordered um, a garment today. It is Prime Day. I'm really bummed I didn't check the deals yesterday because um, they had other stuff, but now they don't. it's not available on my size. So um, we'll see um, how I like this one. If I like it enough, I'll do a video about it and let you guys know um, how I feel about it. <sighs> and uh, winter is going to start coming in, so I... Um, it was much cheaper to order it in the black, so I just ordered it in black. So I, I don't wear a lot of light clothing anyways, and with it becoming cooler, I'm definitely not gonna be wearing like any lighter clothing, so shouldn't be an issue. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can show you guys some of um, what my body looks like right now, the big reveal. Otherwise, um, if I have any issues with this, I will just go ahead and, um, add pictures at the end like I did my last video because I do obviously I've been taking pictures so let me see if I can get my camera at a better angle here for you I know it's so hard right and um, plus you don't want to show too much um I'm not going to really show you the the girls there's not much to show you because my incisions you can't I can't see you guys can't look at them with where they are so um hold on oh gosh I am oozing like crazy out of my hole down there, it looks like. And I literally just showered, you know, in the last two hours. So I guess I'm going to have to do something else there. Yeah. Okay, hold on, guys. Sorry. I'm like all layered up with everything. So here's my binder. Um, there's blood on it and I washed it, so don't mind that. But we sharpied, we marked when I got out of surgery where they had had the other side as like a guideline to know like when to redo it. Like you're afraid you're gonna make it too tight because that, that couldn't be a problem basically. So, okay, let me readjust my camera one more time. Try to get it a little lower, there we go. Ugh. Hmm. Is this going to be low enough? Kind of, yeah, I guess. All right, so, so you can see there's blood there, unfortunately, from my drain site. So if I can zoom in or just put this a little bit lower, it's like where to place it. It's so hard. Um, well, actually, you know what? I'll just pick it up. Let me just make sure we're not showing anything we shouldn't down here. Here we go. So this is what we got going on. Um, 
So let's see. Um, like I said, the bruising is darker on this side. My drain was down here, so that's why that gauze pad is there. There's my incision, so it looks like it's a little lower on this side and it runs up a little higher over here. I just had this covering because there was a spot here on my incision that to me looks kind of open. My husband says it doesn't when you look straight at it. So I was just trying to be careful there, but anyways, it goes up higher on this side it looks like. But you know, at the end of the day, it's gonna heal fine. Um, I just can't wait for all this bruising to go down. Um, my belly button, I'm not gonna, let's see, take the packing out. I don't feel like redoing it, but let me just kinda, maybe I will, there you go. I think when I like keep some gauze in there, it just keeps it more open. Um, less likely to shrink it seems like so I'm sure it's gonna heal just fine so overall I am pleased with how this turned out you know you don't really know how it's gonna look um, which is scary <laughs> um, but you know you just got to give your body time that's all it takes and if you notice like like I said the swelling I mean I'm swollen um, even the doctor said I'm really pretty swollen she's like gosh you're probably gonna go down at least you know a pant size essentially is what's gonna end up happening um, so she's pretty excited. I'm excited to see, you know, in about two to three weeks from now, just how different, you know, it's going to look. So I think that's it for my update for you guys. Um, I'll try to check in weekly, let you guys know how things are going. You can see that this side's not bruised so bad. Um, this is probably where the light bow where she went in, but this side, yeah. So thanks for, um, watching this update. And if you want to continue to see my progress, uh, please subscribe and can't wait to see you guys again. Thanks.